Hey guys, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw Bruce Tim Superman. So come on, let's get started. All right, guys. Well, today we're going to switch things up a little bit. Actually, it's not really all that much. What is my point? Today... I've got a super... Don't. I've got a great... <clears throat> Today, we're going to draw Superman from Superman the Animated Series. So, let's dive in. All right, guys. So, I've been looking to do this video for a little bit. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with his basic head shape. right? And I'm just going to make it nice and um, very basic, just like that. Um, of course, this is going to be a little different here because he's got this really strong jaw here. Um, so, there we go. We've got his head. And what I do with Superman is I like to throw in his shoulder line first and, uh, and figure out all of the basics of his physique. So, what we're going to do is we're going to draw in his line of action, which, as you may remember, it kind of acts like the spinal column. It's for, for weight and, uh, for, and for balance. So I've got a shoulder line right here. You know what? Let's let's just let's just throw in his neck. All right. So we've got his shoulder line angled like this, which means his hip line needs to be the exact opposite of this angle, which would be like this, right? But it's going to come down right about here. Okay. And before I go anywhere, I like to throw in his chest shape. So we've got his chest shape in like this, and now I'm going to throw in his torso. Okay, so we've got his chest, and his chest is going to line like this, and uh, his lats, and his abs. Now we're going to give him his belt. That's how I know where I can go down with the legs. So, what we're going to do is we're going to remember that we've got this line here, right? So, we're going to give him his thigh and then, and then we're going to come out from there. Throw in his shin, his calf muscles are sticking out. And now let's take care of this side. So now because I've got this leg out, I need a weight-bearing leg. So this leg is going to be more uh, downward. So I'm going to come in like this. Make sure the knees are in the same plane. And there we go. Um, actually, I want that to come out a little bit more. That's why we draw lightly. Although I'm not drawing very lightly right now, am I? All right. So let's throw in some feet here. Here, we're going to throw down the uh, center line to help me later on with uh, figuring out the symmetrical lines to his costume. And I'll throw in that diamond shape for his symbol. Got some pectoral lines in here. Just like that. And and remember the inside of the line for Bruce Tibbs uh, designs, they're kind of a curvy straight line. And then we'll bow out the lines for his uh, bicep 
into his shoulder, just like this, one smooth line. And then we have his forearm that bows out a little bit. You don't want to go too over the top with Superman's physique because he is supposed to be super strong. Uh, and we don't want to make him that much bigger than Batman. Otherwise, it just looks like he will dominate everything. So, uh, let's, uh, let's, yeah, it's actually the wrist is here, uh, angle it like that. Now, this arm is going to be on this side. We're not going to see everything. We're just going to, we're just going to see, uh, what we, we're just going to see whatever is left here. Um, that's rough placeholder, we'll be fine. So we've got the basics of his body form figured out here. I've got everything kind of blocked in, and now we can dive back in and throw in all of those details. This being a Bruce Tim design, there's not gonna be a whole lot of over detail thrown into this drawing, which should make for a nice quick illustration. Now I know my anatomy is pretty accurate here as far as the design goes. Um, the only issue here I'm having is where that belt is. So I'm just going to lightly erase that belt and I'm going to raise it up. Let's see, we've got... Yeah, yeah it goes, goes right up here. So for decades, Superman has been drawn in certain ways, right? But beginning in the 90s, you would notice a certain leaning toward his appearance to Christopher Reeve, who played him in the films. I think the newer generations of illustrators at the time at DC grew up with the films and it influenced the character appearance. But then thanks to illustrators like Frank Miller and Jim Lee and Tim Sale, um, artists have felt like they could put their own fingerprints on his aesthetics. And then comes Bruce Timm. Bruce Timm needed to create a Superman and a Batman to be easily animated for a daily show, right? So what Bruce Timm is good at doing is getting very graphical with the design. So instead of drawing in all of the, uh, the nuances of shoulder and of uh, pectoral muscles and everything, he takes everything down and he minimalizes those lines. Now the thing about the S, the Superman S used to give me a hard time until I started breaking it down. So the first thing I like to do after I've drawn in that diamond shape, I'm gonna lightly draw in that shape again right on the inside to give that nice yellow border around that symbol. So what I do is I draw down here very lightly, and then I come over here, um, and I'm drawing it very lightly just in case you do make that mistake and you gotta, you gotta adjust the S. So I'll very lightly draw in the upper curve to that S just like this, okay? And it comes 
down like that. There's a triangle. Right here. And over here, utilize this part of the line here, we're going to draw in a curved line like that. Now, of course, this part will be red, this part will be red, and this part will be red, and then we'll erase the, uh, the border line once we're done, and then you just color that in yellow. Okay, so the bottom part, we've got a curved line here to make a triangle. And then what I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll draw in the bottom part of that S or the bottom part of that middle swoop to the S rather. And then right here, you draw in a circle right here and you just connect it just like that. It's not perfect every time. That's why I draw lightly so that I can adjust it and erase. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's, see, sometimes when I do my darker line work, it comes in a little better. Okay. All right. So there we go. That's how I draw the Superman S. So now I'm going to draw in the upper part of his pectorals, just like this. A nice little curved line here. It's not too curved, though. I want to make sure you streamline this. Okay. Then I'm going to draw in a curvy little uh, triangle here. And then I do that. So we got this like mountain range here, right? That is where the cape comes out of his uniform. Uniform? Or is it costume? Okay, and on this side, let's draw in a shape here like that, and another one like that. From there, what I'll do is I'll bring that cape down. Just like so. The cape comes down to about his knees. And to make it interesting, you want to kind of bellow it out like that. So that when you over here, you can overlap it. Like that. Oh, that's nice. It's glaringly obvious I have not gone anywhere near his head. So let's let's do a little lesson on Bruce Tim's hands again. So we've got this square here, right? Then we're gonna jut out a little bit for a thumb. And then his fingers are, are in a fist, right? So we've got his knuckles go here. And then his upper digits go here. And then they'll come in to make that fist. All right, I'm dying to throw in this head, so let's go at it here. So, we've got his head shape like this. Superman doesn't have any whites to his eyes. He is a, um, he's got this like brooding eye shape going on. So we've got these two lines here. And then just under that we'll have half of a circle or half of a dot just like that his eyebrows are nice and thick but not too thick because later on they gave us Captain Marvel and he has to have the thick eyebrows so he just has a nice full pair of eyebrows there And the nose, I just started the bridge of the nose. I need to know where to finish it. Um, the nose will end right about here. And then the mouth will go right about here. Yeah, okay. So the nose is lucky.
Okay, so we've got... So we got a mouth here like this. Just a hint of a lower lip there. And now, let's give him that jaw shape. Before we do that, we need to give him an ear. Like so. And come from there. Now that initial sketch, I'm going to change the head size there. Like this. Okay, so we've got his... Doesn't have much of a cheekbone. It just kind of swoops down ever so slightly like that. You to draw him from the side, he's got a very bulbous chin. Uh, and it's clefted, just like that. Okay. Some neck lining here. Okay. Let's fix the neck a little. And let's throw in that iconic hair. So Bruce Tim was um, influenced by the old Max Fleischer cartoons. And he had to be very careful to walk a fine line between his own design and those of the Max Fleischer designs. So initially in the animated series, he was given a pompadour almost. Kinda, he's got a full head of hair and it's very thick. So it juts out like so, and then from the back of the head to the top of the head, we just go in like that. Now let's color that in so you see what I'm doing here. And then the iconic S curl. So I start, I start above the, the eyebrow here. It doesn't make a complete S, but it's enough of one. Okay. Later on, they gave him some hair highlights and stuff, but that's not until Justice League. That's coming. I'm getting a lot of questions on when I'm going to start drawing Justice League characters. I just want to get through the the, the famous three first, and uh, I'm getting a lot of requests for for all kinds of uh, ancillary characters so that's what's taking me so long guys be patient but thank you so much for your interest I wicked appreciate it guys all right so uh, we will give him a little bit of a, of a highlight there and if you were to color this in that will be darker there this will be darker here and what I'll do is I will continue from here and I will follow the contour of his body like that I might even throw in a bit of a highlight here on the boot and let's do that again so we got a darker area here and then maybe I would do a highlight right about here just ever so slightly you don't want to go too crazy on that once you start overdoing it, it gets too busy guys if you like drawing this video with me please give it the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because there's more character drawings like this coming up I want to thank you so much for drawing with me until the next time we will see you later